When Olav Helen was in high school, his mom bought him a disposable camera for a field trip to Iceland. That was 20 years ago. It's a passion that has uh, just grown slowly and steadily uh, over time. Born and raised in Oslo, Olav is a self-proclaimed city boy. The name of the statue is uh, Mann med Bauta. As he wanders the streets of his hometown, camera in hand, Olav has an eye for things that are hidden to many. Taking a photo is one thing, but you also have to think, why, why are you taking this photo and what, what are you going to use it for? At his day job in the city of Oslo's welfare department, his photos have a clear purpose, capturing the potential of a group that's often underestimated. Every time that I visit a workplace, I uh, take a, a portrait photo. Love is part of the city's program for inclusive recruitment. It's first and foremost about creating uh, work opportunities for people who need it. His team helps create city jobs for a variety of marginalized groups. So this is Tim and uh, this is uh, Katerina. Including people with intellectual disabilities. It's one of those last groups in society that are still being quite openly discriminated against. Ferla Garls is a special education professor at Oslo Metropolitan University. Having a job to go to is about self-realization. It's about who we are and what we do and how we identify. She's researching transitions from school to employment for people with intellectual disabilities. Many of them don't have any work place to go to at all. According to this 2017 report, Less than 3% of working age adults with intellectual disabilities in Norway were employed in an ordinary workplace with support. What if you don't have work? How are you gonna fill your days? In Oslo municipality, one in three people with intellectual disabilities ages 18 to 67 were without any form of daytime activity in 2017, according to the city's website. Also, September. That was one of the motivators for creating a project called More and Adapted Work, one of the job programs Ulav's inclusive employment team spearheads. We can count the people who have gotten jobs through our job programs. More and Adapted Work aims to create supported jobs in Oslo municipality specifically for those with intellectual disabilities and similar assistance needs. <laughs> it would be easier to talk about this. Ulav's colleague, Marta Buas, is the team lead for the program, which started in 2018. My title is uh, Special. Uh, to help create these jobs, the municipality distributes funds to Oslo's 15 districts. Artist team follows up with them and provides additional support. These fundings are specific to this goal and they have to report on it as well. And the districts say that that makes it easier for them to use the money direct on this purpose. The past two years, the city has given 12 million Norwegian kroner, or about 1.2 million US dollars, to the districts. Since 2018, the More and Adapted Work program has employed over 200 people. It's a meaningful thing for, for every single one of them. Another piece of the program was creating this 2020 report, which studied how to improve the transitions from school to work for this population. There's no smooth transition process per now. We don't have transition teams, we don't have like a system for transition planning, so it's, it's too coincidental. There's a lot of things that's challenging about becoming an adult. Uh, and there's so many things you have to figure out. Love can understand these transition challenges more than most as someone who himself has an autism diagnosis. I often think to myself, yeah, what, what, what kind of uh, support and services would I have needed when I was younger? He faced a long, hard road before landing at his current job. Multiple times uh, I've gotten bur burned out from my attempts to, to finish my studies, to, to, to function, uh, function in uh, the workplace. Ulav says nearly all his support as a kid was directly attached to school. So once he aged out, he saw much of it disappear. I wish I had some more help fig figuring out those things, uh, uh, figuring out what I wanted to be, uh, how to be a functioning adult. It's a feeling shared by many young adults with a variety of developmental disabilities. If we don't have any structure in place, like a, a system that works, 
then many of them just fall through. In their report, Ulav and Marta's team identified several of these transition challenges, including a lack of job training during upper secondary school. The school cur curriculum could be more adjusted if they knew what the students would like to do after. And the need for more collaboration between families, schools, and government services. One main thing was that the uh, planning started too late. But they also proposed solutions, including the creation of a new role within Oslo's districts called a transition coordinator. Their main goal is to, as far as it's possible, to secure work or activity after school is finished. Martha says students attending adapted education in smaller groups would be entitled to one of these coordinators from age 16. To accomplish their goal... They push for planning early and they get the people in the same room that, that uh, are supposed to talk together uh, about the planning. Her team says three of the departments working for the city government are now discussing if and how this new role could be implemented. My hope is that uh, those who, who uh, want to work get that chance. While Olav wishes he himself got to this point sooner. For the first time in my life now that I'm in, uh, in, in my mid-30s that I'm starting to find some, some sort of uh, work-life balance. He says he's glad to be where he's at now. The most important thing is that you get get where you need to go and not how, how fast you get there. Helping others get to a similar point. I like feeling useful. By working here, I, I feel that I am useful. And using his favorite tool to showcase their stories. This is uh, Eivind. Uh, he works at the uh, Oslo Central uh, Fire Station. Inspiring hope and further change. Thank you. Along the way. It's been very important actually because we have to show who these people are and give them a, a voice uh, and tell their stories uh, and speak to the heart. And he does that. What do you like about your job? Why, why, why did you know uh, uh, everything. 36-year-old <laughs> <laughs> Oivin Berg Johansson has worked at Oslo Central Fire Station for over six months. It's a job Ulav's office helped create in partnership with Helt Med, a group that helps employ people with disabilities in the ordinary workplace. No go till. He says uh, that the important thing is to have something to go to and have something to do every day. We love help translate as we spoke to Oivin about his job. He says he he has never been so happy at a workplace uh, before. Oivin gave us a tour of the station, showing off old pictures. I like the one with the the fire constables on the bicycles. It's really funny. <laughs> telling us about some of his tasks and eventually leading us to his very own office. Here is my place. <laughs> where he proudly displays Ulav's picture. As the doors closed and we said goodbye, Ulav's power as a photographer and person once again came into focus. A desire to make the invisible visible, ensuring everyone and everything has a chance to be seen. In Oslo, Norway, I'm Eric Benninghoff.